turn and read the book of Mormon. The book of Mormon. Another testament of Jesus Christ. So I start reading everything I see. The book of Mormon. Another testament of Jesus Christ. You hear me? The book of Mormon. An account written by the hand of Mormon upon plates taken from the plates of Nephi. Wherefore, it is an abridgment of the record of the people of Nephi, and also of the Lamanites, written to the Lamanites who are a remnant of the house of Israel, and also to the Jew and Gentile, written by way of commandment, and also by spirit of prophecy, and of revelation, written and sealed up and hid up unto the Lord, that they might not be destroyed. They come forth by the gift and power of God unto the interpretation thereof, sealed by the hand of Moroni, and hid up unto the Lord, to come forth in due time by way of the Gentile. The interpretation thereof by the gift of God, an abridgment taken from the book of Ezra, also which is record of the people of Jared, who were scattered at the time the Lord confounded the language of the people. But they were building a tower to get to heaven, which is to show unto the remnants of the house of Israel what great things the Lord hath done for their fathers, and that they may know the covenants of the Lord, that they are not cast off forever. And also to the convincing of the Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ, the, uh, the eternal God, manifesting himself unto all nations. And now if there are faults, they are the mistakes of men. Therefore, condemn not the things of God, that ye may be found spotless at the judgment seat of Christ. Translated by Joseph Smith John, uh, published by the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. First English edition published in 1830, 1981 by Special Reserve Incorporated All Rights Reserved in the United States of America, 5, 2008. Uh, no. Introduction. The Book of Mormon is a volume of Holy Scripture comparable to the Bible. It is a record of God's dealings with the ancient inhabitants of the Americas, and contains, as does the Bible, the fullness of the everlasting gospel. The book is written by many ancient prophets by the spirit of prophecy and revelation. Their words written on gold plates were quoted by a prophet historian named Mormon. The record gives an account of the two great civilizations. One came from Jerusalem in 600 BC, and afterwards separated into two nations known as the Nephites and the Lamanites. The other came from earlier when the Lord confounded the tongues of the Tower of Babel. This group is known as the Daredites. After thousands of years, all were destroyed except the Lamanites, and they are the principal ancestors of the American Indians. The crowning event recorded in the Book of Mormon is the personal ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ among the Nephites. Soon after his ministry, the Lord, soon after his resurrection, that puts forth doctrines of the gospel, outlines the plan of resurrection, that this was the plan of resurrection and salvation, and tells men that they come to do gain peace in this life, eternal salvation, and the life to come. After Mormon completed his writings, he delivered the accounts of the son of Moroni, who added a few words of his own, and hid up the place into the hill Cumorah. On September 21st, 1823, the same Moroni, then glorified, resurrected being, appeared to the prophet Joseph Smith, and instructed him relative to the ancient record and destined translation into the English language. In due course, the plates were delivered to Joseph Smith, who translated them by the gift and power of God. The record is now published in many languages as a new and additional witness that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and all that who will come unto him and obey the laws and ordinances of his gospel may be saved. Concerning the record, the prophet Joseph Smith said, I told the brethren of the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth and the keystone of our religion, and a man who would get nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than by any other book. In addition to Joseph Smith, the Lord provided for eleven others to see the gold plates for themselves and to be special witnesses of the truth and divinity of the Book of Mormon. Their written testimonies are included herewith as a testimony of three witnesses and the testimony of eight witnesses. We invite all men everyone to read the Book of Mormon to ponder their hearts the message it contains and the God, the eternal Father, Father, in the name of Christ, if the book is true. Those who pursue this course in asking faith will gain a testimony of its truth and divinity by the power of the Holy Ghost. See Moroni 10 3. Those who gain this divine witness from the Holy Spirit also come to know by the same power that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, that Joseph Smith is in his relator and prophet in these last days, and that the Church of the Jesus Christ of the Latter day Saints is the Lord's kingdom. The Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter day Saints is the Lord's kingdom that uh, once again established on the earth, preparatory to the same coming of the Messiah. Uh, seven minutes left. We'll have to stop the camera. The testimony of the three witnesses, be it known unto all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people, unto whom this work shall come, that we, through the grace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, have seen the plates which contain the record, which is the record of the people of Nephi, and also the Lamanites, their brethren, and all the people of Jared, who came from the tower of the brethren that have been spoken. And we also know that they have been translated by the gift and power of God, for his voice hath declared it unto all of us. Wherefore, we know of a surety that this work is true, and we also testify that we have seen the engravings which are upon the plates, and they have been words of soberness, that an angel of God came down from heaven, and he brought and laid before our eyes that we beheld and saw the plates and engravings thereon, and we know that it is by the grace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ that we beheld and bear record that these things are true. And it is marvelous in our eyes, nevertheless, the voice of the Lord commanded us that we should bear record of it, wherefore to be obedient to the commandments of God, we bear testimony of these things. And we know that if we be faithful in Christ, we shall rid our garments of the blood of all men, and be found spotless before the judgment seat of Christ, and shall dwell with him eternally in the heavens, in honor to the Father and the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, which is one God. Amen. Oliver Coward Dury, David Whitmer, Martin Harris, the testimony of eight witnesses, be it known unto all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people, unto whom this work shall come. That Joseph Smith, the junior, or John, the translator of the work, has shown unto us the plates of which have been spoken, which have appearance of gold, and as many of the leaves has said Smith has translated, we did handle with our hands, and we also saw engravings thereon, on all which the appearance of the ancient work and curious workmanship, and we bear record of the words of soberness that the said Smith has shown unto us, for we have seen and hefted and known of a surety that said Smith has brought the plates of which we have spoken, and we give our names unto the world, to witness unto the world that we have seen, and we lie not God bearing witness of it. Christian Whitmer, Jacob Whitmer, Peter Whitmer, John, John Whitmer, Graham Page, Joseph Smith, Sen, Hiram Smith, Samuel H. Smith. Now, like three minutes left, I'll stop.
testimony of the Prophet Joseph Smith. The Prophet Joseph Smith's own words about the coming of the Book of Mormon are, on the evening of the 21st of September, 1823, I betook myself to prayer and supplication to Almighty God, while I was thus an act of calling upon God, and discovered a light appearing in my room, which continued to increase in the room, was lighter than at noon day. When immediately a personage appeared at my bedside, standing in the air, or a speaking out there before, he had a loose robe of most exquisite whiteness. It was a whiteness beyond anything earthly I had ever seen, nor would I believe that any earthly thing could be made to appear so seemingly white and brilliant. His hands were naked and his arms also a little above his wrist, so also were his feet naked as were his legs a little above his ankles. His head and neck were also there. I could also discover that he had no other clothing on but the robe. As it was open, so that I could see into his bosom. Not only was his robe exceedingly white, but his whole person was glorious beyond description, and his sentence truly like lightning. The room was exceedingly light, but not so very bright as immediately upon his person. When I first looked upon him, I was afraid that the fear soon left me. He called me by a name and sent me that he was a messenger from the presence of God to me, and that his name was Aroma, that God had a work for me to do, and that my name should be had more good and evil among all nations, kindreds, and tongues, or that it should be both good and evil spoken of among all people. He said that there was a book deposited written upon one place, giving an account of the former inhabitants of the continuance and source from whence they sprang. He also said the fullness of everlasting gospels contained in it, as delivered by the saints of the nation and inhabitants. Also, there were two stones and silver bows, and these stones, passing to respect, constituted what is called Urium and Thuman, deposited within the place and the possession of the use of stones, for what constituted seers in ancient or former time, that God had repaired them for the purpose of translating the book. Again, he told me I might have the place to be spoken for time that should be obtained was not yet fulfilled. I should not show them to any person either, because I would Urium and Thuman, unless to those who him, I commanded to show them, I did not have to be destroyed, that is conversing with me about the place and the vision over the mind, I could see the place where the place were deposited in totally in a single room, that the place were deposited in a new, the place again when I visited. After this communication, I saw the light in the room, and gathered immediately around the person with whom he had been speaking to me, and continued to do so, until the room was again left dark, except just around.